guys, it's Christmas morning. It's actually like 9.58, so it's not very morning anymore. Wayne really wanted to sleep in. It's the latest I've probably ever gotten up for Christmas morning. But anyway, um, I guess I'm going to start and I'm going to get something out of my stocking. Now, um, Santa filled up this stocking. I got some cookies. Okay. Why won't you get something on your stocking? Yours is going to take a little bit longer. All right. So your stocking is going to take a little while because a lot of the stuff in your stocking is wrapped. So if you want to like get out a few of the wrapped things. Would say something, but I don't want to have to edit it out later. <laughs> okay. I don't know what, but all right. You're like actually taking everything out of your stocking right now. Okay, go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. You told me to. Did you not? I don't know what I said. You said pull all the wrap things out. I thought I said something different, but that's okay. You can take out the stuff that isn't wrapped. Well, everything is wrapped, technically. Okay, technically, yes. The light coming from the back here is really making you very dark. But we're just going to have to roll with it. Maybe we should turn on a light in here. Might help out. While you're taking out some of the stuff, I'm going to do that. Uh, you're going to do... Oh, yeah, that's right. You're right next. That did not help at all. Nope. But okay. It changed nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there's Lynn's little stocking pile. And candy that he'll probably never eat. Except for the lime bars. Which he's been saving. Alright. Go ahead and open something, dude. Shaking it does you no good. Nope, not this time. I think Santa knew that you needed a new brush. I think so. This... No. <laughs> There's probably two because Santa wasn't sure if you liked the color of your old one or the style of your old one. Uh, so. I'll put it to you this way. It comes hair, it works. For a little while, I was using a Delta Airlines overnight comb. Okay. Because, uh, I came home to no combs in my house and I had that one. Well, now you've got two. <laughs> yep. All right, keep going. Again, I don't think Santa knew if you liked firm or medium bristles. So, Santa got you two. Okay. Yeah, those were toothbrushes. I got some sour mica knives. Three and a half. You want me to take something else out too? That's more candy. Sour Patch Kids Extreme. They're so cute and plush. I didn't know about those. Should I get the last thing out? Might as well. Alright, these I think I knew about. Yeah, me and Santa had a conference. These are some little sheepkin socks. And they say Feliz Navidad. And this one has sheep all over it too. Alright. 
So that is my stocking. Okay, back to Wayne and his stocking. He's going to finish opening up the little goodies inside. This is a level. Wayne likes to guess what things are before he opens them. No. And it's, likes to know and what they are. It's a little annoying. So he actually got a toolkit from his parents that had a level in it. Um, but this one will probably come in handy too. Well, the parents' one's um, yay big and this one's for bigger projects. Not a big deal. I'll name where that is, Santa. Santa, what's that? Glue. Oh. By the way, I read this. You could read through it? Mm-hmm. I was a little bit worried about that with the um, big presents. Yeah. I think Santa knows that every household needs to have a variety of glues, and we don't. So... Well, I'm just wondering what honeydew thing is going to be these. Oh, come on. Honestly, I've always enjoyed gluing things, and I think Santa knew that maybe you would too. What is that one? Looks like a lighter. Mm, I don't think Santa got you a lighter. Uh, well, I mean, I'm just saying what it feels like. Oh, yeah. Oh, Okay. Those would have come in handy when we were hanging those pictures the other day. I'm sure that uh, that you certainly believe that. <laughs> I mean, we still had a pencil. I mean, you, yeah. you don't have two teachers living together I without know. having a pencil. But before. those are the flat ones so that the, the rounded edge isn't going to throw off your line. I agree with you. I'm just saying in general, you know, we made it work. We did make it work. And it's even enough, I suppose. Those two other things were in your stocking. The other is regular gifts. I don't remember what that is either. Oh, yeah. It's the card game love letter, but, but no Archer, Archer style, which I thought we could, or Santa thought we could get into a little bit more than the Romeo and Juliet thing. I mean, perhaps, <laughs> yeah. Santa knew that you wanted to be a cowboy. So I think that's why Santa got you that. At first I thought it was liquor and then I realized it's no. cologne. It's aftershave stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. But it's the cowboy brand. You ever smelt that before? I'm sure I have. It it's just... like a very, it's an older, like more traditional style, but mm -hmm. it's like the cowboy style. Who loves orange soda? Wayne loves orange soda. Maybe there just should have been a giant two layer in there. <laughs> all right, so that was all the stocking stuffers. I think, by the way, I think Santa thought the tissues would be good in your car, like you know, in the little glove compartment or something. All right, this gift is from Santa, and if I were to play Wayne, then I think I could guess what it is. So I'm not going to play Wayne. I think I'm right. Uh-huh. I'm right. Oh, and it's got puppies and kitties on it. How cute. Oh, it's adorable. There were no I love these popcorn things. There were no owls. You can eat on them forever. Yeah. These ones actually are like individually backed inside, which is really handy. Yeah, I was kind of surprised about that because I looked in and I was like... Yeah, normally it's like the compartment thing. Yeah. That's handy because you can sort of like, they don't have to 
get stuck to the side of the tin or any of that so you don't have to clean it out because the the coolest thing about these tins is you can reuse them later so like it'd be nice for us to maybe store our ornaments or something in here especially since yeah um you know it's christmasy and look at the sleeping kitten all right, so Wayne thinks it's gonna be safer to do these one at a time. But what I mean is for him to open all four of these little things here to like at the same time because they all sort of go together. And he'd already pretty well guessed what they were. Um, we needed this. I whenever we were hanging that stuff over there, I wanted so bad to just say, "Well, let's just open this up." <laughs> Because we really needed a little bit different type of nail. Yeah, well, you know, he did this one like really well. Oh, it's because I was using two scraps of paper. I see that now. There we go. What's that one? Smaller nails, but. It looks like a still version of what we uh, have. For the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the head is just a tiny bit bigger, but they're finishing finishing nails. Yep. So they're good for like the smaller projects. And then the other one is good for like larger projects. Mm -hmm. Definitely needed some of these. Exterior screws. Yeah. The, I, I couldn't figure out exactly what type of screws Mel always had growing up, but I think that they were similar to that one. So that's what I went with. I mean, there's always going to be as a far as like that's going to need a long screw. Yeah, that's what I was going for was something to, like, for you to be able to put wood together, you know. Mm -hmm. And, I don't know, it was what seemed to be. And those were, I think, called drywall screws. Yeah. But I'm sure that there's other stuff. They're just shorter screws. Shorter and fatter, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, growing up, Mel always had plenty of boxes of screws and nails to choose from whenever he was doing a project. So he never had to, like, go out and get nails for something, which is, like, where I feel we're at right now. So that's why I decided to get you those, even though they're a little bit boring. Well, I mean... I appreciate them because at the end of the day, I'd have to get them either way. So you might as well get them. Might as well have them on hand. Yeah. Get them now, then later. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to open up um, that taller one? This one? Yeah. The lighter of the two? The lighter of the two. That one, you, I don't think you knew what that one was. But then again, you didn't shake it like you did the others. Well, it's broken now. Yeah, it's broken now. <laughs> Now, well, I'm certainly going to uh, be using this. Yeah, I figured that that would be the best place for now for you to store your nails because I think that those boxes can fit in those larger drawers and also the glues can fit in the smaller ones and, mm -hmm. you know, so all those little bits. Yeah. Um, that you don't just want hanging around at the bottom of your toolbox. Yeah, this is definitely going to keep me from being, uh, like, whenever I was growing up, my dad always had a toolbox and always had all these other things, but there was never organization. So, he knew where everything was, mm -hmm. but no human being other than him would ever know where his hammer was, yeah. for instance. So, um, this will keep it keep the chaos yeah. down yeah. oh i didn't realize that there was another one under that all right this one is for wayne two candies oh nice thank you baby that's awesome it's exactly what i needed to and you, did you actually get the right size let's see let's see Let's see. Let's see. Oh my goodness, all the tags. 
there were more. I clipped some of them off. <laughs> the ones that had the the. Can. Oh, okay. I see where you went. Yeah, I was like, I haven't seen these before, but they're nice. So these are from H and M. So you went to yeah. You went to the scary mall. I did. That scares me. But yeah, these are the perfect color and everything. You know, that I like dark denim. Mm-hmm. So should I open this one and then you open that one? Because that one's your big thing. Go ahead and open. Okay. So what is it? If I had to guess, since you already told me you went to Sears, I'm guessing it's a blankie. It feels like it's a blankie. Ooh, it is a blankie and it's very soft. The problem... Like yours. The problem is, they didn't have the one that you liked oh so long ago. It was so long ago. And I was like, well, I'm here. I should get her something. Mm -hmm. So, I got a holiday one. It's still the one. same velvety softness as the other one. I know, but it doesn't have the cuteness that the other one had. That's okay. It's snowflake. Alright, well, go ahead and look behind your, um, behind the couch. Behind the couch. At your uh, at your big present. How did you know that I wasn't gonna look before? Because you're a good little one, and you just sit down instead of going all over the crazy place. All right, so it's not wrapped. It's just mm -mm, there. It's just there. And it's been hiding in the house for a very long time. For like a month. I have no clue. I see Miss Kitty's mouse. Look at those! Awesome. Why didn't you wrap it? You could have wrapped it. I'll be honest with you, because you came home quicker and I just <laughs> never got alone it's a time. Big set to 790 pieces. Yeah, that I never awesome. I never got a, any alone time between Monday and now. <laughs> So I was just like, well, she's just not going to have it wrapped because I I haven't been able to, you know, have How did maybe. You, hide it, though? you just have it in your boxes? Uh, yeah, I had it in uh, a box in the uh, office already. And last night I just moved it underneath your desk. And. <laughs> oh my goodness. And, uh, yeah. For those that don't know, I've been really wanting like a bunch of Legos, especially for my classroom, because I want the kids to be able to like, you know, do like little um, brain challenges and stuff like that where they have to use Legos. And so Wayne had some from when he was growing up, but this one is like got tons of pieces in it. And it also has a nice little tote for him all too, which he had a nice little tote thing too, but the kids couldn't figure out how to open it. So. I always had to open it for them. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be great. Thank you, sweetheart. Not a problem. Well, I'm definitely going to need that. You're going to need that? Mm-hmm. For what? I don't know. Name, name the... <laughs> the, uh... Project. Project, yeah. Nobody nice can see what it is. Soul. There we go. So, I got that one because it had the most amps and all that type of stuff for the price. And I asked the people if, because I didn't see that brand's blades separately, but they said that all the blades are interchangeable. Like you can use a DeWalt blade on a yeah. whatever, that Porter cable or whatever brand and that one is a plug-in one but the lithium I'm um, cutting off your head there but like the lithium powered ones and all that like I don't know Here, here's the thing because that needs so much power yeah here's the thing about some some things that are uh, battery operated a drill battery operated is brilliant mm -hmm. this battery operated is not and the reason why I say that is there are some things it just needs that a lot will, of power. Yeah, it will drain the battery yeah. on the first cut. And you don't want to, well, you have know, to have 10 batteries just to get through one project. Yeah, exactly. So, um, 
just like my uh, my drill right now actually is a plug-in. Um, the reason why I got it is because my dad bought a uh, a battery one, and he's like, "Here you go, boy," kind of thing. And you know that's fine. I will use it until it dies, and at which point I will get a new one. But I really don't see that thing dying anytime soon. But um, yeah, some things need to be plugged in. Um, and this is certainly one of them. So I appreciate this. This mm -hmm. is awesome. You're welcome.